So this is the 4.4 Fission FET. If you're having a hard time getting the application to open, you can just watch this video and kind of pause and replay things as you need to. I am going to narrate the observations that you can make from looking at this simulation, but I'm not going to analyze the observations for you. That is what the questions ask you to do, so that is your job. And remember, you also have answer keys available to you as a way to check your own thinking and your own work. So our first tab up here is the fission one nucleus. I can see this little gun. So my first instinct is to shoot it. Um, and something is clearly happening. So remember whenever you're using a simulation or looking at something like this, you want to read the legend and the key to understand what you're looking at. So take some time to look at this and understand the different symbols. We also have a graph down here. You always want to look at what is on the x-axis and the y-axis when you are reading a graph. So here's your x and here's your y. And also here is a little key for the data as well. So now that I've looked at my legends and my graph a little bit more, I'm going to look at this again and watch the graph to see what happens. I can see that the yellow line has moved. Um, I'm going to watch this one more time. And one last time so I can pause it and really see what is coming out. Okay, so that should help you answer the part one questions. Moving on to part two when you are there. So again, I've got this little gun I can move. I want to shoot it. Okay, that looks really similar to what I saw on the last page. Um, but I now have some other atoms as well. So I'm going to play with this. Hmm. There's one left. See if I can get it. Nice. Crash and lame. Um, what else do we have here? All right, so that one changed from 238 to 239, and then it did not explode. This one does explode. And when the other uranium 235s get hit, they explode too. But all of the 238s change to 239, and then they don't do anything. OK. Um, the next thing is a table where it tells me how many of each to put on here. So I'm going to do that. So the first one is 100 of the 235 and 0 238. I kind of already know what happens with this one, but um, all right. And then down here is the data that I need for my table. All right, moving down to the next one, I need 
Oh, not that. I need 70, 235, and 30, 238. All right. All right, um, here is some data that I need. Um, and then I want to see how many I can get. I want to see how many firings it's going to take for me to get all of them. So here's number two. All right, so that took two. Next is... 50-50. Okay. So here's my percentage and I'm going to keep going. That was unsatisfying. It's three. Oh. <laughs> Four, five. <laughs> okay. Well. This is going to take a while, but if I had good aim, I could probably do this in less than 10 shots. Um, so I think that's a good way to, to record that data. Um, our very last, nope, not last, next one is 30 and 70. All right, 6.67%. Um, this is obviously going to take a long time. Um, like more than 10, just because of all of the things that are stopping the reaction. So I'm not going to spend my time doing that. But I would just say more than 10. Um, last one is zero of these and 100, 238. Um, well, it's zero percent because there's no uranium 235 to fission. So zero and zero. Okay. Um, the next thing is to look at this containment vessel. So let's just play around with this, see what happens. Okay. Um, then I'm asked about whether What's going to make this be a bomb? So let's see. I can change this size. Um, but it only let me put so many. Um, like it's only letting me do 20. So I'm going to make it bigger. And see what happens. Um, all right, created an atomic bomb. Let's see what happens if I put, um, some mu 
in there. Maybe it helps. Mm, okay. Um, last one is our nuclear reactor. Okay. Um, so again, here's my legend, and we've got a little temperature thing, and then I'm going to move this thing around. So now it's open, and the neutrons can travel through. Okay, um, and if I leave it closed, they seem to get stuck. But I'm going to fire a lot of neutrons. I don't seem to be able to make this explode. But I will try. I don't know. I got the temperature as high as it could go and it didn't explode, so. <laughs> um, but you can watch the data over here to answer the questions. And I know that's not as fun as doing it yourself, but hopefully that gets you through the work.